He shoots. He dives. He scores. I'm Rick Atlas, Matt speaking. And he's Anyone? your financial advisor? Matt Abbott is not your typical professional athlete. The Syracuse native is one of the biggest names in Major League Lacrosse, and it's pretty easy to find him. Just head down to Armory Square and he'll be working 9 to 5 at an investment firm. Um, it's, it definitely fills the schedule up, um, but you know, thankfully stuff is flexible enough to where I can schedule meetings with clients around you know, the busy season for lacrosse. Professional lacrosse players only make between ten dollars to $25,000 a year, but it's a very competitive league. Matt says balancing work and games can be a challenge. It's tough enough when you're not playing it every day. You know, like in college, you're practicing five days a week, playing games. We practice the night before the game and play Saturday and come home Sunday. So what keeps Matt so dedicated to the sport? His family. After graduating from Nottingham High School, he followed his roots to Syracuse University. And his things, he's got Matt's his dad things. and grandfather both played for the Orange. Just, it's just thrilling to know that, and to know that he's the third generation, and it comes from the generations before you. Well, lacrosse and all the sports that we played and participated with, it was how we taught their life skills. Um, and then the bonus was you got to play the game. During Matt's four years at Syracuse, he was a first-team All-American, Tawarton Trophy finalist, and a two-time national champion. And he would just be able to, to run through almost any, any kind of a ride that was out there. And a lot of teams watched that, and they kind of copied what we did, I think, a little bit when they you know, hoped to have a Matt Abbott, so to speak. Teammates called Matt the human clear, as he methodically brought the ball down the field hundreds of times. But it was his last clear in a Syracuse uniform he'll never forget. Ten seconds left. Here's Abbott trying to get loose in front. Nibs has it. He scores. He scores. Get it, Nibs scores. Uh, Stephen Keogh was able to pick the ball up, throw it behind his back to me. And then when I looked up to my left, I could see Kenny, who had made the initial check, running towards the goal. When I throw it, I, I think he's wide open. And I go, in my head, I think, all right, we're going to tie the game. As I kind of spin around and fall down, I see Roy Lang standing there uh, in between. And I, at that moment, I, I thought for a split second, you know, it's over. Uh, that was just classic Matt Abbott right there, what he can do and the kind of things he can do in a game. And uh, like I said, we were glad to have him on our side, especially in that instance. Anytime you see any kind of highlight, it brings it back. We all, you know, the hair raises on your arms and you're just like, whoa. Matt's game tying assist sent the 2009 National Championship game into sudden death overtime, where Syracuse beat Cornell 10-9. The National Championship! Thankful it worked out for our favor, and uh, you know, it was a pretty memorable ending for, uh, for well, the regulation and then, and then in overtime, too. So uh, something I'll, I'll remember for the rest of my life. Your Syracuse career. Yes, yeah, good way, to, good way to cap it off with a National Championship. So couldn't... couldn't uh, asked for a better ending. But Matt's lacrosse career wasn't over yet. He was selected ninth overall in the Major League Lacrosse Draft by the Chesapeake Bayhawks in 2009. Each year the talent level just keeps rising because you've got more and more you know, college graduates coming out that are, that are you know, the, the best of the best. And that competition helped Matt elevate his game to the highest possible level. Last summer, he made Team USA. You know, that was the, the biggest honor I've ever had in, in the realm of lacrosse is putting on, you know, a Team USA jersey and representing your country. But how much longer can the 28-year-old keep playing? And I keep saying that I'm going to try and do it for as long as my body will let me. And, uh, you know, if that's, if that's one more season, great. If it's eight more seasons, great. You know, but uh, I certainly enjoy it and hope to do it for, for many years to come. Up next for Matt, what he calls his greatest accomplishment marriage this fall to his high school sweetheart and his biggest challenge carrying on the Abbott family lacrosse tradition in Syracuse Emily Dick NCC News